Hey guys, this is your host Eric. Today we are going to watch sci-fi genre movie called Cockneys vs. Zombie. Spoilers ahead, turn on your subtitle, I greatly appreciate your support. Enjoy the video. The film begins with Hartman Construction, a construction company that is building apartments in London's East End. After breaking into the two workers unintentionally discover what appears to be King Charles II's tomb. Instead of discovering many treasures, they unwittingly awaken two skeleton corpses, who pipe them in the neck, transforming them into zombies. The action shifts to Terry and his younger brother, Andy, who have just purchased a van for use in a bank robbery. They then return to work as food delivery boys. They are stopped on their way by Mental Mickey, the weapon supplier for their robbery. Mickey was a war veteran who now has a metal plate in his chest. He even tries to hit his head on the car without feeling any pain. A project supervisor searches for the two missing workers on a construction site, hoping to offer them new jobs. He enters the underground bunker. Meanwhile, Ray Andy and Terry's grandfather appears in schools at Bow Bell's nursing home. The teenagers standing outside. They turn out to be Darrell's customers, who sells pills to them for a living not long after the brothers arrive at the nursing home and is also chastised by their grandfather for delivering the meals late. Ray suggests they look for another job because delivering meals to pensioners is not a long-term career. The contractor has revealed that the facility will be demolished soon. When Ray orders the engineer who is taking measurements to leave the cafeteria while all the grandpas and grandmas are eating, Hamish sneaks a peek at a sexy girl and teases the nurse. Before Andy and Terry leave the nursing home, they relive the moment when the boy's parents gave them a short lecture before loading up a pair of shotguns and storming out the door to confront the someone. As they now live with their grandfather, it is assumed that their parents were killed in a shootout. A few moments later, a news report claims that several construction workers were mysteriously injured. The brothers return to the van and pick up other team members, including Davy, their cousin Katie, who has a lock-picking ability. And Mickey Davy claims that it is the right time to rob the bank because the security cameras have been turned off due to security upgrades before arriving. Terry reminds Mickey to keep the fire going during the robbery, and Davy disguises the group with stupid mustaches. When they arrive, they are greeted by the bank manager, which confuses them. It turns out that there is an agreement between the bank and Hartman Construction, and she believes they are company representatives. Because the robbers are unable to show her the form on which the money is to be obtained, the bank manager becomes suspicious and secretly presses the emergency button. Mickey threatens her with his gun and forces her to accompany them to the vault, where they expect to find only a few thousand pounds. They are astounded to see 2.5 million pounds in front of them. They take all of the money and try to flee the bank. They discover, however, that the police have surrounded the bank and order them to turn themselves in. While returning to the bank, Mickey appears with a shotgun and begins shooting at the cops, while the elders are having a good time. Hamish notices the zombies approaching the nursing home but is unaware that they are zombies. Ray takes a chainsaw and begins eliminating the emerging zombies not long after the zombies arrive at the nursing home and begin attacking the nurses, causing chaos inside the building. Recognizing that the zombies continue to attack, those elderly people flee and lock themselves inside, attempting to escape through the back door, but the zombies have surrounded them and there is no way out. Ray concludes that all they have to do now is wait for someone to pick them up after their bank heist goes wrong. They decide to take two hostages, Clive and Emma, and try to flee. The police, on the other hand, have been slaughtered as the zombie outbreak has spread throughout the city. Bodies can be seen all over the street, some of which are rising. They load the stolen money into the van and drive away. Andy picks up a dying girl on their way out. Unfortunately, the girl transforms into a zombie, leaving Mickey with no choice but to blast her with his shock. They eventually arrive at an old factory, where a wild zombie appears out of nowhere. Mickey shoots the slow zombie repeatedly, but it keeps moving because he doesn't hit it. The zombie then bites Mickey's arm, forcing Katie to grab the shotgun and blow the zombie's head off, despite the fact that its jaw is still clinging to Mickey's arm. A woman's zombie approaches a few moments later, and Mickey promptly blows her head off. He tries to save the infant, but he is already infected, so he has to kick him into a billboard that ironically promotes child awareness. The group then enters the factory. While searching for information on the van's radio, Terry and Katie discover that the entire city has been infected. One of the hostages threatens the robbers, saying he knows their faces and will report them to the police. Mickey silences him with a headbutt to the face. Terry then appears and suggests that they go to the nursing home and save the elderly. Katie explains that they are committing the robbery to prevent the demolition of their grandfather's nursing home. Mickey begins acting strangely and steals Terry's van key, fearing that they will flee with the stolen money. He leaves and takes the hostages with him to a side room where a wild zombie appears and attacks. Mickey kills the zombie with his bare hands. Then he ties up the hostages and sits on the opposite side. Ray's Hamish is napping in the backyard as zombies approach. The old man can't hear what Ray is saying. 
but he eventually realizes what is going on and begins running towards them while being chased by slow zombies. Losing patience, Ray decides to come out, punches several zombies, and saves the old man with the help of a zombie lunges at Andy by the factory shutters, but Terry pulls him off and smacks it with a shovel while Katie shoots his head off with a pistol. When the hostages attempt to escape, Mickey transforms into a zombie and attacks them. The group attempts to shoot him but discovers that his head is made of metal plate. Terry eventually ends up killing him with a grenade. He inserted his. Clive then takes the shotgun and becomes arrogant, telling the robbers that he will bring them to the cops. However, the zombies from behind bite them, and he inadvertently shoots Davy. The zombies outside the factory eventually infiltrate the structure. They take out a few zombies while Andy returns to the factory to retrieve the car. The remaining survivors eventually flee the factory and take refuge in a nursing home. The zombies are about to break in, and Ray suggests that they fight them because they are on their own and will not be rescued. They arrive at Emma's sick sister's house to rescue her, only to discover that she has turned into a zombie. Emma, on the other hand, decides not to kill her in the hopes of one day discovering a cure. When they realize they don't have any bullets left, they go to a container yard where Mickey keeps all of his weapons. Terry realizes that their current vehicle is insufficient after arming themselves, so Katie hot wires a double-decker bus and they rush to the nursing home to save the elderly men. When the group arrives, they rush towards the facility while Emma distracts the zombies with. Andy shoots two zombies off the balcony while Katie kicks one off the roof. They eventually meet Ray, but they can't save them through there because the pensioners can climb up. The elders arm themselves with guns and decide to go all out, escaping through the front door and eliminating all the emerging zombies. To cut a long story short, they make it to the bus and flee the nursing home. However, the bus unexpectedly breaks down, forcing them to abandon it. Realizing that they are near the river, they decide to flee using a nearby bridge. When they are about to embark while being chased by zombies, they notice that the boat is still chained up. Ray jumps from the boat to free the chain. He appears to be overwhelmed by the zombie horn, but he survives and shoots all the zombies around him. The brothers and Katie help their grandfather, and they eventually leave after they have killed all of the zombies. We really appreciate you watching. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the notification bell because it is really important for us. Thank you.